Welcome sa sip9.com. This video ay tutuloy natin yung ating series about uh, rational expressions. No? So kung pinanood niyo yung mga previous videos natin, napag-aaralan na natin yung rational numbers, rational expressions, at rational functions. No? And uh, in this video, gagawin natin is uh, ibabalikan natin yung rational numbers. No? So pag rational numbers, pwede natin siyang express as ratio of two integers or pwede rin natin siya i-represent as fraction. No? Halimbawa, ang 3 over 4 is a rational number because a rational number is a ratio. No? Uh, because uh, 3 fourths is a ratio of uh, two integers. No? Now, um, yung rational numbers can be written in uh, infinitely many forms. No? Uh, halimbawa, 3 fourths can be written as uh, 6 over 8. Pwede rin siyang... Uh, uh, it can be written as uh, 9 over 12, no? and it can be written as uh, negative 12 over 15, for example. Negative 12 over tama ba? negative 16. No? So uh, you can you can write infinitely many uh, fractions, no? Uh, na kapareho ng three fourth, no? And um, we do this by multiplying uh, both the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So from this uh, discussion, pwede natin sabihin na uh, each, ran each rational number, no? each rational number, number can be written. In infinitely many in infinitely many forms no so marami siya so pwede kang mag kung mapapansin niyo nagta times lang tayo ng ng number no both uh, the numerator and the denominator minimultiply lang natin siya ng the same number no for example yung 3 fourth paano siya naging 6 uh over 8, no? So, nag-times lang tayo actually ng 2 over 2, no? And, well, we have learned that in multiplying fractions, ang ginagawa natin is we multiply the numerator and then we multiply the denominator kasi siya naging 6 over 8, no? Similarly, yung 9 over 12 uh, naging 3 fourth times 3 over 3, no? And, uh, Siyempre, lastly, we have negative 12 over 16, 3 fourth times negative 4 over negative 4. So, naging negative 12 over negative 16. No? So, ano napapansin nyo? We are actually multiplying um, numbers. No, uh, we, we are multiplying the fractions by numbers, uh, by fractions whose denominator and uh, denominator and numerator are the same. So, um, we do this, no? We do this, we do this by uh, multiplying, multiplying both the numerator, numerator and the denominator, denominator, by the same non-zero number, the same non-zero number. Hindi pwede tayo maging zero kasi mag zero over zero, undefined siya. So, dapat non-zero yung multiply natin. Okay? And bakit siya, bakit equal yung mga yan? Dahil ako din, yung ang minimultiply natin is 1 lang. 2 over 2 is 1, 3 over 3 is 1, negative 4 over negative 4 is 1. And if we multiply any number by 1, hindi na babago yung value. Ang nababago lang dito ay representation. Actually, 6 over 8 is still 3 fourth, 9 over 12 is still 3 fourth, and negative 12 over negative 16 is still 3 fourth. So, hindi natin binabago yung value. Binabago lang natin yung form or yung representation, no? Okay? So, ang kabaliktar naman ito, ang, uh, for example, we, ang nagsimula naman tayo sa 6 over 8. Halimbawa, 
paano siya naging 3 fourth naman? So, pabalik naman siya, di ba? Ito, from 3 fourth naging 6 over 8. So, ang ginagawa lang natin is 6 divided by 2, no? Okay? Tapos, dinadivide din natin yung uh, denominator niya ng 2, no? So, 3 over 4, no? So, ang kabaliktaran naman yan, nung ginawa natin sa taas, ang tawag natin dyan ay, we convert to lowest term. So, if we start, no? If we start with the 6, uh, if we start to convert, no? To convert 6 over 8 to 3 fourths, then we reduce, we reduce 6 over 8. Lowest terms. No? Okay? So, pag wala ka nang pwedeng i-divide, both sa numerator and the denominator, no? pag wala ka nang pwedeng i-divide, kung 3 over 4, pa i-divide pa ba tayo na para ma-reduce siya? Wala na, di ba? So, masasabi natin that the irrational number is in lowest terms if um, the, the numerator and the denominator have no common factors or co no common divisors no factors and divisors are uh, the same in this case so a rational number number is in uh, lowest terms if or when the numerator when the numerator and the, the denominator denominator have no have no common factors now dito sa ginawa ko parang divisor siya no? but we can also look at this as multiplication no uh pwede nating sabihin na 6 over 8 is actually uh the same as 3 times 2 over 4 times 2, ano? Uh, ito, yung 3 and 2 are factors, no? Ito, 2 i divisor. So, we can actually cancel this out because 2 over 2 is equal to 1, di ba? So, ang 3 over 4, uh, we can, we can uh, undo. It's the same as 3 over 4 times 2 over 2, di ba? So, this is 3 over 4 times 1, which is equal to 3 over 4. No? So, in this case, ang tingin natin sa kanyang factor, dito ang tingin natin sa divisor. So, dito yung sinasabi yung common factors, no? Okay, ang common factor nila ay 2. And pag wala ka na mahanap na common factor, for example, 3, 3 over 4, wala na tayo mahanap na common factor dyan. Therefore, um, oh, common factor except 1. No? Huwag natin kalimutan yung 1. Siyempre, 1 is always a common factor. Common factor. Siyempre, ang 1 lagi siyang common factor. Other than 1. 1 is always a common factor of uh, two integers, any two integers. Okay? So, I think that's it. No? Ang uh, sinasabi lang natin dito ay ang rational numbers ay pwede natin siyang i-reduce to lowest terms. Uh, ang rational expressions, pag may variables na tayo, ay pwede rin at yan yung pag-aaralan natin sa susunod natin na video. No? Okay? I hope uh, meron kayo natutunan sa video na to. I know this is... Uh, Nothing new na pinag-aralan nyo na ng elementary but uh, siguro maganda dito is makonect natin uh, yung pag-reduce uh, to lowest terms ng fractions sa uh, pag-reduce to lowest terms ng rational expressions na may mga variables na. Okay? So maraming salamat. I'll see you in the next tutorial.